And our next speaker is Lenore. And um, <coughs> she is a, a lead UX architect for an advertising and marketing agency in London. Um, and has worked on projects for Sainsbury's, National Grid, and Transport to London. To name a few. Um, please give a round of applause. So I'm going to talk about the do's and don'ts on creating portfolio, um, some pointers and ways to sort of, I guess, improve upon. So the first thing is some um, do's. So know your audience. So by that I mean have in mind who would be in your portfolio. It could be like senior management, hiring managers, um, potentially um, fellow co-workers in the future as well. The next do is tell a story. <laughs> start a big, sorry, have a start, a middle, and a finish. And again, try and make it quite engaging as well to your audience. Um, consider your message. Um, what purpose will this serve to, um, to your to as your portfolio? Um, be honest. Again, show piece of work that belongs to you rather than something that's been created by someone else and to and other team members. Um, keep updated, so add new work, but at the same time look at old work and maybe even move this might be relevant to your portfolio as well. Um, show your best work, so again, maybe choose three to five strong pieces rather than say like ten okay or right pieces of work to show. <coughs> um, try and find service, so if you can code, that's great, if you can't code, there's many <coughs> online um, where it's free or paid that can create a website to show your portfolio. Um, create new work. By that, I mean bigger problem to solve, such as maybe um, redesigning a homepage or a site, or maybe looking at the e-journey of the e-commerce site, and again, just to show your portfolio. Um, have a deadline, so specify a date rather than saying print off to the next week, or next month, or say the next year. Uh, get feedback, so again, get feedback from you know, friends, family, um, even strangers to see where you can put on your portfolio. And the other don'ts. So don't copy a skill, it's not ethical, and at the same time, people will find out that you have some of their work. Um, don't breach NDAs, it's illegal, and again, it's not a really good thing to do with breaking a contract. Um, don't get obsessed, so stop being perfectionist and just pretty much get on with your site, if it's a site or a portfolio. Um, don't procrastinate, um, again, don't waste time and just make a start with it. And finally, um, don't just rely on um, contact, so on email and maybe find other ways of getting in touch with people as well. And that's it. Thank you.